Good morning, students. Welcome to RPS Group of Schools online classes of science. Students, you know that animals produce their own kinds by the process of sexual reproduction. Do you think that human beings or animals at any age of their life can do so? Human beings and most animals after attaining a certain age become capable of reproduction. Let us learn the changes that occur in the human body due to which a boy or a girl becomes capable of reproduction in this chapter called Reaching the Age of Adolescence. In this module one, we will learn and discuss adolescence. We will come to know what is puberty and the various changes that happens during the stage of puberty. Adolescence. The period of life when the body undergoes changes leading to reproductive maturity is called adolescence. This is the time span in which the child develops into an adult. Adolescence begins around the age of 11 and goes on until 18 or 19 years of age. Adolescents are also called teenagers. The body at this stage undergoes important changes and these mark the period of puberty. Adolescence is the transitional phase of growth and development between childhood and adulthood. The change that begins in the body during this period causes girls to grow into young women and the boys to grow into young men. In girls, adolescence begins a year or two earlier than in boys. Puberty. Puberty is a stage at which a sexually immature boy or girl becomes sexually mature and is capable of reproduction. Puberty is a period of sexual maturation and achievement of fertility by boys and girls. The time when puberty begins varies greatly among individuals. However, puberty usually occurs in girls between the age of 10 and 14 and between the ages of 12 and 16 in boys. Both genetic and environmental factors are involved in the timing of puberty. Sometimes body fat and or body composition may play a role in regulating the onset of puberty. Puberty is associated with the development of secondary sex characteristics and rapid growth. Puberty may also be accompanied by emotional and mood changes. A number of changes takes place in human body at puberty. Some of these changes are common in both boys and girls. Changes at puberty taking place are as follows. The first one is increase in height. During puberty, sudden increase in height takes place. This happens due to elongation of long bones of legs and arms that make a person tall. Girls grow faster than boys by about 18 years of age, but both reach their maximum height. The rate of growth in height varies in different individual. Height of an individual may be a male or a female depends on the genes inherited from the parents. However, right kind of food during growing years is also essential. Calculation for full height 
in girls and boys. The average rate of growth in the height of boys and girls with age given in the chart helps in calculating full height of the individuals. Calculation for full height in centimeters. The formula is present height in centimeters divided by the percentage of full height at this age and then multiplied by 100. For example, a girl is 9 years old and 120 centimeter tall. At the end of the growth period, she is likely to be the present height 120 centimeter divided by 81, that is the percentage of full height at this age, multiplied by 100. Approximately, she will be 140 centimeter tall. The next change seen in puberty is the change in the voice box and voice. During puberty, it is being noticed that voice of boys start cracking and their voice box or lyrics starts to grow. The increase in the size of the voice box in boys is seen as a prominent protrusion in the neck. This protrusion is called Adam's apple. Generally, girls have a high-pitched voice, whereas boys have a deep voice. In adolescent boys, sometimes the muscles of the growing voice box go out of control and the voice becomes hoarse. This state may remain for a few days or weeks after which the voice becomes normal. Moreover, girls will usually have a high-pitched sweet voice while the boys will have a deeper voice. Changes in the body shape. During puberty, boys will start having broad shoulders and wider chests, while in case of girls, the region below the waist becomes broader. Moreover, the muscles of the boys will grow more prominently than in the case of girls. In girls, pelvic region or the hip portion becomes broad and the breasts develop. Increased activity of sweat and sebaceous glands. Sebaceous glands or oil glands are the small glands in the skin which secrete oil through skin pores to lubricate and protect the surface of the skin. The activity of sweat and sebaceous glands increases at the onset of puberty. Children may even get pimples and acne due to increased activity of hormones and glands in the skin. The sweat glands present starts operating and produces more sweat and the sebaceous glands or oil glands increased function results in pimples or acne. The level of hormones in boys and girls rise too much at the time of puberty. These hormones stimulate the sebaceous glands and sweat glands present in the skin. The increased level of sebaceous glands causes them to secrete more oil and the increased activity of sweat glands makes them secrete more sweat. The excess oil and sweat gets collected in the tiny pores of the skin. The accumulation of oil, sweat and dead skin cells block the tiny pores in the skin of the face. Bacteria grow in the mixture of oil, sweat and the dead skin cells in the blocked skin pores causing swelling and redness of skin which leads to the formation of pimples.
maturation of sex organs takes place during the stage of puberty. Growth of sex organs takes place and are found to be more active. In males or in the case of boys, the testes start to produce male gametes called sperms. And in case of females, the ovaries start developing and releases one mature ovum once in 28 days. In males, the size of the penis increases with respect to age. On the other hand, development of breasts is observed in females or girls. With this, we end up module 1. We'll join you soon with another module. Till then, take care of yourself, students. Goodbye.